Not sure if he's our guy. Ticketman machine is not working or... Oh my god! There is a few potential hazards here that no one tell you and feels a bit like... Yeah, be careful oh with the god. leeches, okay? Yeah, Did he say what's wrong? The engine. Oh. I didn't have the thought like, oh, this is gonna go wrong. Hello, Hello troublemates! How is it going? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to Kaosok National Park and we are going to do the one-day lake tour. This is one of the most popular tour options that you can do here in Kaosok National Park. We arranged the tour through this uh, accommodation that we are staying in right now. But first, we're going to have some breakfast, get changed, and then the bus will pick us up in front of the resort. We are super, super excited. The weather doesn't look that sunny today, we'll we'll but see. we'll see. Hopefully, the weather gets better later. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And make sure to watch until the end of this episode to know if it's worth or not coming to Kaosok National Park. Let's go! After arriving to Thailand in December and staying three weeks in Bangkok pet sitting for this lovely dog and cat, we started our travel adventure around this country. Thailand is fully open for tourism again after the hard time of the COVID pandemic. And we're excited to explore this country and experience its amazing culture, food, and nature. On this episode, we're in Khao Sok National Park, one of the favorite destinations for those who love nature and epic landscapes. The whole Khao Sok National Park is huge, and there are many things to do, like camping or hiking many of its trails. But today we're gonna do one of the most popular activities here. We're gonna take a long boat to go deep inside the lake and see some of the most amazing nature here in Thailand. Here we're staying in KK Park Resort, a family-run accommodation on top of a hill with spectacular views of the mountains around. We have a nice little room with a balcony with good views surrounded by nature. And they have a super cute and friendly cat. You know how much we love staying with pets, especially cats. Extra score for this place for having this one. So they told us that taxi, yes, taxi or van or whatever is waiting for us down here because they are picking other guests. This is so beautiful. Look at this view. I know, it's amazing. It's there, it's there. Okay, so the stairs are there. Yesterday when we arrived, it was a bit cloudy. Today it seems still a bit cloudy, but not like it's gonna rain or anything, which is very nice. <laughs> oh my God, the views are spectacular. And the room, as you saw, it's really nice. Over oh, which one is it? We'll, we'll ask. I think the one waiting, no? I guess. Check out the views, man. I mean... I'm not really sure which one is it. Maybe yeah. it's that one. Or this one. For the, the boat trip? trip? Is this trip. one? Yeah. Okay. Trip. Boat trip? Like, yeah. So we arrived. This is where more crowded than we expected. How many people go for one day trip? Overnight trip? One day. One day trip, how many people? Okay. Then from now, the one day trip, remember me first. Okay. Okay. What's okay. your name? Fluk. Yeah, wait, wait, Fluk. Fluk? <laughs> Fluk? Fluk? <laughs> wait, wait a bit. All right. Okay. So, you, so you're the guy? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's <laughs> <laughs> not sure if he's our guy. Uh, look at this. This is way more crowded than that. Wow. What's your impression? It just overwhelmed a little bit. <laughs> a lot of people. So it seems like it depends on the number of the people. I think they assign one or two guys. 
So apparently for some reason we don't know, the guide says that today is a pretty busy day and there's a lot of bands, buses as you can see. Yeah, post-Covid times are busy again here in Kaosok National Park. So before entering the park we have to buy the ticket. So even on the boat can get wet, so he recommends buying the raincoat, but I have mine. I think I brought mine. I'm okay getting wet. I'm okay. So we just purchased, recommended by the guide, this poncho raincoat for 25 baht. And now, ticket. Oh wow, there is even like a restaurant, cafe kind of thing. You're already wearing it? <laughs> We're already, just, just, just to get ready <laughs> before. This doesn't seem to be the ticket office. They say, I heard it's somewhere over there. Oh my god, that makes more sense. It's much more crowded. Look at the number of people. I really didn't expect this. Crowded? It's, it's like a theme park, man. It's like a Universal Studios park or something. <laughs> they even sell snorkeling goggles. There's some souvenir shops over here. Yeah, typical. I thought it would be much more like wilderness, natural, but it's pretty developed. Some shops selling fruits and souvenirs and coffees and dresses and stuff like that. This is the long line we have to do for our ticket. Wait, someone said 300? This is only Pier ticket. Bucks. So we, we're going to get the pier yeah. fire or pier? Fire? Fire ticket first. And then once we get inside, we're going to pay for the national uh, park, park entrance. ticket. Yeah, entrance. Right, two people. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, so we got the ticket for the fire, pier, whatever. Right, so it seems the area cleared a bit. Show the ticket. Okay, finally. <laughs> finally, yeah. We are at the entrance of this Kaosok National Park. Big boats with about, what is that? 10, 15 people, maybe 20. It feels crowded, yeah. I really hope that once we go a bit into the lake, we spread and it feels less crowded. After showing the fire fee to the entrance, now it's time to buy the ticket to the national park. Apparently there is this ticket vending machine or like a kiosk. Yeah. Uh, so the ticket vending machine is not working or it's off because we have stuff working. All right, we got the ticket. There's a kind of a constant flow of in and out boats. Too bad the weather is not as good as it could be. It's a bit cloudy and foggy, which I guess it's kind of common in these mountains. Yeah, when we woke up, it was sunny. Now it got cloudy. I really hope it clears a bit later. If not, we're not gonna have this beautiful image that you see when you Google Kawasaki National Park. It is what it is. Is there another guide or he's gonna be with us? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's also because of the weather. A little so bit down, down, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, a bit down. Look at all these fish. Oh my god. Oh wow, cool. <gasps> Huge fish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> Be careful. Stop moving it. You okay? Thank you. Yeah, I'm totally fine. Totally? No. You don't look totally okay. Yeah, you wanna sit here? So... Should we wear this? Yeah, well, we might have to wear the poncho that we bought, because according to the guy, okay, just it's gonna be very wet. Wear it now. Faster than I expected. Wow, nice. 
Getting already a bit splashed. Yum, yum. If the weather was good, this would be a very nice, beautiful ride. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's just foggy, cloudy. Ah, it's fine. Oh my god, I'm getting splashing. We stopped in the middle of the lake because apparently there's some issue with the engine, engine. <laughs> which doesn't make it better. Did he say what's wrong? The engine. Oh. Okay. No, it's not that it's finished the gasoline. There's something with the engine, but I mean. But they are, I trust they are professional enough to depart with enough, battery, with enough gasoline, right? No, it must be something with, who knows, oil. Oh, he's asking for help. Help! Please! Help! Help! No, we're not saying hi. He's stopping. No. He's not stopping. Have fun, yeah. You think? We've no. got a flare. <laughs> no? Not sure. Surely they know we're not supposed to just be sat here, though. Maybe they think we're enjoying the landscape. <laughs> <laughs> like some, of, some of us ask, like, no, no, stop well, here. SOS, I want to enjoy. Like SOS of our hands. <laughs> I'll do the S. <laughs> you guys do the O. <laughs> oh, man. If it was sunny, this would be amazing. <laughs> oh, no. There's always one of these oh, days, no. and maybe it's today. And if it starts raining, that's gonna be no, the highlight. <laughs> shut, shut. <laughs> it's not cold about weather. I quite like it when it rains. Uh, yeah, at yeah, least it's not like cool. super sunny and uh, yeah. roasting here under the sun. But let's hope it, this doesn't take too long to fix, and we don't waste the whole day. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I didn't expect this. I didn't have the thought like, oh, this is gonna go wrong. A few moments later, so right when I turn off the camera, the guy fixed it and we started again. Nice. No problem, no problem. Yes, we can continue. Ah, you go with us. Oh my god. He cannot come. Your colleague cannot come? Oh my god. Okay. So we arrive at the restaurant. Take everything, yeah? Well, restaurant, resort, whatever is this. And we're gonna eat lunch. The trip wasn't as rough as I expected, except from, except for that little accident that we had. Or incident, I should say. <laughs> Here we are, yay! Yeah, we arrived! Safely! <laughs> the same fish we saw yesterday at the river. Yeah, there's so many fish, like this kind. Oh my god. They are beautiful. Everything. Well, that's a nice detail, asking us if we are allergic to any food or something. And bye-bye, boat. Okay, let's go. All right. I'm a bit starving, so really? it's going to be nice. Do you remember? We stayed one of these accommodations in Erawan, near Erawan National Park. Do yeah, you check the video right here.
coffee tastes better with this view. <laughs> Let's see what Hakim says is true. I'm gonna grab some coffee. The food and the drinks are included. I don't know how many drinks, but the lunch and a coffee, at least, are included in the whole tour package. They go crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> For lunch? What is it? Oh my god. <laughs> this is a nice thing to do when you are here in waiting for the food. Yeah, so the lunch is taking long, so we are just fishing uh, food to cook for ourselves. Uh, no, I think the food is ready. <laughs> People are so they just told us the food is ready. Oh, okay. Oh, this looks good. Thank you. <laughs> the fish from there. Makaman curry, I heard. My drive. Nice. The fried veggie. But yeah, it's for me. Gonna do kayaking. good lunch, you will have some time to take a kayak and paddle around a little bit. Most of the tours in Kaosok Lake include kayaking. Rowing on those turquoise waters surrounded by the mountains and jungle is, is such an incredible experience that you cannot miss. Kayaking is not difficult and since on the lake there are no obstacles, you can paddle pretty freely following the shore and staying a bit away from the center of the lake to avoid the motorized boats. You will have plenty of time to enjoy the kayak and also if you want, you can jump into the lake to swim before you head to the next spot. Now it seems there's more people waiting for the kayaks. So, how was the experience? Did you enjoy? It was okay. Yeah? I just wish the weather was better. Weather was yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. So, we are back from the kayaking. <laughs> the kayaking was just uh, just 15 minutes or so. I mean, it's as long so. as you want. You yeah. have more than an hour to do yeah. it. It must be a very pleasant, enjoyable experience when it's sunny. But as you can see, it's pretty foggy, it rained a little bit or drizzled, so it doesn't invite to stay here yeah, long. Exactly. Right? And after the kayaking, we also wanted to do some swim around this floating house. But we felt like, right. oh, it's not going to dry and it's not really it's not sunny that around exciting, here, yeah. so it doesn't it's not feel that exciting. No? And then, the, yeah, we're going to explain more detail after we finished the whole trip, but so far, I'm not really sure if it was a great choice yeah, to it's, I'm 50 -50. go on, on a trip, go on a boat trip. We're gonna explain more detail later. Plus, looking at the facilities, you feel like post-pandemic, I think they rushed opening because everything looks still a bit, uh, you know. Unorganized. <laughs> yeah, not only unorganized, but a bit tear down. There's a lot of hazards. I saw a lot of uh, nails and it's not well maintained. Half the things are broken. And exactly. Yeah. I'm not like ranting because the weather is bad, but actually this, there is a few potential yeah. hazards here that no one tell you and yeah. feels a bit like, oh, it's post pandemic, tourists are coming, let's rush open and start making the money, which you cannot blame them. I mean, everybody had rough times and you need the money, you need to open, you need to get the business going. But I think this place need, need it a bit more maintenance before opening this massively to the public. But I'm not sure if it was the whole uh, thing here, but maybe it's the tour company that we used. They, yeah, yeah, they yeah. did I the mean, poor management or something. I'm they, judging from yeah. what we've seen. Exactly. Probably there is better mm -hmm. companies, you pay more, and they kept really like good safety, good exactly. uh, maintenance. Yeah. This is our experience only. Yeah. yeah, we had to wait about like one hour before we, maybe more than one hour before we get onto the boat. And then in the middle of the coming here, 
in the middle. Uh, there was some problem with the engine, so he had to stop in the middle. And then yeah, it's it's not the then, most pleasant yeah, experience. Yeah, we so came far. here, and then we also had to wait for the food. I mean, and that that's okay. We we waited just less than like 30 minutes, so that was okay. But if hey, yeah, hey, hey, they're waiting for yeah. us. We have to go back to, <laughs> to the boat, and then we're heading to the cave, right? Let's see the cave. Uh, it doesn't depend on the weather, so maybe we have some good fun at the cave. No? Okay. Ooh. All right, then let's go. just arrived in front of the cave, the Prakai Pech cave, and the landscape is beautiful and it's getting sunny as you can see the weather looks really It's amazing. incredible, oh my god. So we don't know, probably it's going to be super dark inside, so don't expect good footage. We got it, got it. <laughs> Let's go then. I mean, look at the. Not very bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, but no. When it's totally dark, it might be. Yeah, but better than nothing. <laughs> better than careful. nothing. <laughs> Enough to illuminate the spiders. <laughs> Enough to see the spiders. Oh, this is a bit muddy in the entrance. Yeah, be careful oh with the God. leeches, okay? Yeah, I know, I know. Keep an eye on this. You good? What the? Look at those butterflies there. Are we supposed to walk this? Okay, let's go. Oh my god, the landscape is amazing. <laughs> oh, Jordi, you want box spray before entering? Really? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna. I don't think it, it's a cave. Well, I mean, I think mosquitoes and stuff is gonna be inside. Okay, just in case. Huh? Yeah, Prakai Patch Cave. Look at these views from the park. Oh, wow. Pretty amazing, oh, wow. all that That's jungle insane. here. Okay, draw this stick with. Let's take a look at this. This is what we're gonna find oh, in this cave. Jordi, really be careful. Yeah. Normally, Normally it's longer, longer. But, because but because of, of from my one of my friends get really sick mm -hmm. from this cave, that's why. Right. And you're lucky yeah, you yeah, come with me, yeah. and this I know to save you. And you can see the water, the pattern water. Yes. I don't and see, but, photo. but yeah, I see legs see. there. I see yeah, people yeah. walking there. They have no guy. So. Next to the water, no more. No, no more. Only okay. dry. Okay. You can go and look. Yes. Okay, pass me. People with no guide are doing exactly what our guide told us not to do. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah, look. Oh my god.
Oh my god, the color of the water! <laughs> it's incredible, look! Wow. It's pretty amazing. Okay, uh, so we are done with the tour and I'm going to tell you my honest opinion about this trip. I think in general it was worth. At first I was a bit disappointed, not just because of the weather, it's a bit cloudy and I expected, I hoped for some sun and to see those crystal waters that you can see in Google, but you know, we cannot control that. But still, at first, it was a bit disappointing because we had to wait a lot for two more people on the tour. Overwhelmed by these stunning views uh, in the lake, all the rock formations and everything, the wild jungle and forest, uh, the view that we saw on the boat was just really, really good. Our guide was tired from working four or five days in a row and he said that to us, like he was not supposed to work today, so he felt very tired, he wasn't that prepared. If you are here, when, especially when the weather is great, I highly recommend you to try it. The floating platform where we had lunch didn't look in a very good condition. But maybe you could maybe compare the reviews on Google, like what companies is good, because probably uh, the one that we used today uh, was a bit un unorganized and that we had to waste a lot of time in the morning. But in the end, after we went to the cave and we moved to the three rocks, that made it worth. We had a bit more of a clearer day, a bit more, I wouldn't say sunny, but it got a bit better. But later, uh, we really enjoyed the boat riding and we also enjoyed uh, the kayaking on the near the floating house. It was worth it so i strongly recommend this trip especially if the weather is good you're gonna have a really good time uh, we just we just hope the weather was better so we could have then we could have like enjoyed more kayaking and maybe my favorite part was not just the kayaking but just uh, going around with the boat itself admiring the whole rocks and uh, it was a bit fast the the boat it felt a bit fast so it's enjoyable it's a nice uh, boat trip all around the park. But the weather was kind of cloudy and a little bit like raining, so we didn't really feel like swimming, you know? You get to see a lot of different shape of mountains and kind of islands and... But anyway, it was, it was great, it was great. At first, you see a lot of boats, like departing from the same port. They took us to a kind of like photo spot, uh, and then we took some great photos uh, on the boat. But... Every boat goes to kind of a different place, so there are moments that you are alone on the lake. In general, I would, I would recommend, but yeah, it's like I said, just compare the reviews on Google, like what companies are good and what, are, what other options they are offering, uh, then it would be great. Yeah, it's a nice experience that probably we might want to repeat someday with uh, good weather, with some sunny day. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more travel videos. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Look at you. Look at you.